If you're like many Americans, betting on NFL games is a weekly routine. Larry Hartstein is hanging out with me today to take a look at some odds and predictions for the AFC East. He's the senior analyst over at Sportsline. He's got a great record going on this year. So where do you sit after last week, Larry? Well, uh, hard to believe, but 18-5-1 for the season. Started 0-2, have hit 18 in my last 21. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. And let's start today with the New York Jets and Atlanta Falcons. The New York Jets just scored their first win of the season. So do you think they're going to carry that momentum across the pond for Sunday morning's game in London? If they can keep their emotions in check and not get too high after that big overtime win, I think they have a great chance. The Falcons have given up the most points in the league. We saw how Washington, uh, you know, put up a lot of points late in that game. The Falcons secondary is horrible. Zach Wilson made some big time throws. He has Jamison Crowder back as his safety blanket. He has Corey Davis making big plays. I think anything over a field goal, the value definitely with the Jets. Up next, the New England Patriots and Houston Texans. Both these teams, shockingly, have the same record. They're one and three. And although it was exciting to see Tom Brady back in Foxborough last week, the Pats really let that game slip away from them. So are they going to carry the frustration from that loss to Houston this week? Well, Bill Belichick really, I think, let them down by not going for it on fourth down and trying a 56-yard field goal in a rainstorm. Uh, Would have had a much better expected chance of winning uh, if they had gone for it on fourth and three. Okay, that's in the past. Are they going to Get a big win over a Houston team that just got blown out 40 to nothing to Buffalo and looks like the worst team in the league because of their backup quarterback, Davis Mills, who's clearly not ready. But, you know, in his only home game against Carolina, he played pretty well, 19 to 28, didn't turn the ball over. The Patriots are not an explosive team. You see them dink and dunk and matriculate their way down the field. They are not the kind of team that's looking to put up 40 points. They don't play that way. So this is a big number. I can't play it right now. If you force me, I would take the Patriots just because of how bad Houston is, but I can't play it because their offense is not explosive. And up next, we just talked about the Buccaneers win, and now they're going to host the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins making the short trip to Tampa Bay on Sunday. And this Miami team lost three straight, and really they should be 0-4 had it not been for a late fumble by the Patriots. That was all the way back in week one. So do you expect another double-digit loss for this team against the reigning Super Bowl champs? They have so many problems right now. Brian Flores basically saying everything is on the table. Jacoby Brissett, since taking over for Tua, averaging 4.9 yards per attempt. They only started going downfield late in that game when they were already three scores behind to the Colts. So a lot of issues with the Dolphins offense. And I think the one thing you got to look at is Byron Jones. He's their best corner. He left with a quad injury. If he can't go against this Bucking year's team which is loaded with pass catchers with mike evans and godwin and antonio brown it could be a very long day for the dolphins and finally larry the buffalo bills traveling to kansas city to face the chiefs this week this could shape up to be the game of the year and it's a rematch of last season's afc championship game and the bills been pointing to this matchup for months so do you think buffalo can get it done at arrowhead this time I really wish I had jumped on this right away. The line opened at three. You could have gotten a full field goal with Buffalo. It's down to two and a half. I still lean Buffalo at this number, and I'm hoping that it will go back up to three where I can grab the field goal. They've been the better team this year, clearly. The Chiefs give up the most yards per play in the league, 6.9. The Bills give up the fewest, 4.0. The Bills invested in their pass rush in the draft. It's paying off their number two in pressure rate. I think they can get a couple of stops on Patrick Mahomes, make him a little bit uncomfortable. So he puts up only in the high 20s, maybe 30. And Buffalo has been unstoppable, 43 points, 40 points, 35 points their last three games. This offense is what we thought it would be. So I'm definitely leaning towards the Bills. All right, Larry, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Always great to see you. Likewise, Katie. You can read even more sports betting news right now over on Sportsline. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.